What's going on guys, Casual Savage here, and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to do text behind objects in Premiere Pro. So as you can see I have Premiere Pro opened and I'm going to be demonstrating this with a still image. However, the way I'm going to be showing you is the same way you'll do the effect with a video. So as you'll see it is a picture of the Eiffel Tower and the first thing you want to do is drag and drop it onto video track 1. Then you need some text. Now if you made some text in Photoshop and it is saved as a PNG, by all means you can use that. If you don't have that text, then you can head over to Title, New Title, and select Default Still. Now, this should be the same width and height as the project up here. If it isn't, then adjust it. I'm going to select OK. Now, come to the Text tool and simply just drag out a box. Now, what I like to do from here, I like to drag out the box where the text will be. So, my text will be right in the middle here on the thinner part of the Eiffel Tower. And all I'm going to do is type in YouTube. I'm going to press Ctrl A to highlight it. I'm going to bring the size up by using this button up here. Then I'm also going to change the text to something bolder. So I'm going to use this text right here. And I do believe the bolder the text or the bigger the text, the easier this will be for you because you have to mask. I also recommend setting the alignment to the center if you are going to be doing something with the center. Then of course you can come back to the selection tool and position it how you want it. So from there you'll see it will be in your project, you can drag and drop this onto video track 2. Now there's two ways to do this, one where you would duplicate the image or the video and put it above on video track 3 while still keeping the text on video track 2. And from there you would then mask out the part that you want to remove from the characters. However a way I like to do it, we're going to mask out the text. So we're going to select the text. We're going to head over to the effect controls and from there we're going to come to opacity and then select the pen tool. Now you'll see I'm not going to be 100% accurate but I'm going to be as close as I can. So all I'm going to do is left click to lay down one of these points and I'm simply going to go around it like so. And you'll see if I try to come across it doesn't let us. And that's something uh, is a problem with Premiere Pro. But we're going to get around it. So we're just going to come a bit further out, come down to this corner and then we need to connect them back up like so. Now yes, your text has disappeared and this is what should happen to you as well. What we're going to do is now uh, join the points to the part where you want it. I'm actually going to add a point right here. So if you want to add a point after you have masked, you can come up here as you'll see the pen will be there. Press left click and that button has now appeared. So I'm going to curve this around the Eiffel Tower like so. And then that is how I want it. Now it's not going to be the best, it's not what I can see just yet. And of course, that character is showing. We want the other letters to show. So from the effects controls, we're going to come down. And as you'll see, it says invert. So if we select this, the T is now behind the Eiffel Tower, while the other letters are around it. So as you can see, it gives the illusion that U, and then the T is behind the Eiffel Tower, and then the rest of the characters are right here. Now you will see that there is a feather there. I did actually apply a feather and there is a feather already uh, put on as you'll see, it's always on 10. So I'm going to set this to 0 to get it uh, sharper. And then of course we can always come back and adjust the mask by selecting it. And I think we need to come in closer a bit. And I'm actually going to add another point right up here so I can now come closer. Okay, so now you'll see I will zoom in on the edited version. I've masked around it again, but this time it's now closer to the Eiffel Tower and there's no gaps in between. And that is what you want to aim for as well. But that's it for this tutorial. I hope it has helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and peace.